Let's have a look at the proper way to open a project that you see on GitHub within PyCharm, because I know for a fact that there are still people out there who copy and paste their code from GitHub projects into PyCharm. So right here you can see that I have PyCharm open. And if I want to get a project from GitHub, all I need to do is I need to click on VCS, which is short for version control system. And then I need to click on get project from version control. In the window that opens up, I have several different options. And perhaps the two most relevant ones are the two top ones over here. So repository URL or GitHub. The first option that I currently have open allows you to paste the link to a GitHub repository and then clone it. The option below that allows you to get a GitHub repository from a linked GitHub account. But let's go back to the first option, repository URL, because you can open up any project from GitHub, regardless of whether it's from your account or someone else's using this method. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open a browser window, and you can see over here that I have my GitHub open. And I'm simply going to take one of my previous projects, such as the Dijkstra Pathfinding. If I click on the project, I have the option to click on this green button code. And over here, I can then go ahead and clone this project by copying this link. Once I have copied the URL, I'm going to go back to PyCharm and paste the link within this URL space over here. Below that, I need to specify the path to an empty directory within which the project can be saved. So I'm simply going to specify the name of the directory, which is going to be Dijkstra Pathfinding Example. Finally, I can go ahead and press clone to get the project from GitHub into the directory that I've specified. Then you will see a small window pop up telling us that the project that we're trying to clone has a requirements.txt file inside of it. And we get asked if we want to create a virtual environment using the modules that are in the requirements.txt file. So in this window, we're simply going to press on OK and we'll wait for just a moment for the virtual environment to be created. And once it's finished loading, you will see that the virtual environment has been created because on the left hand side, there's a new folder within the project folder called Venv, which is short for virtual environment. I do want to point out that the window we saw earlier asking us to create a virtual environment only shows up if we have a requirements.txt file in the project that we're cloning. If you want to create a virtual environment manually, it's really easy to do. All you have to do is click on File, Settings, and then within the settings you go down to the Project, Python Interpreter, then you click on this small gear icon and click on Add. And this is where you can add a new virtual environment. And I'm going to be leaving a link down in the description below with everything you need to know about virtual environments, but this would go beyond the scope of this video right here. In order to run the project that we have now cloned, all we need to do is we need to right click on the file we want to execute and click on run. And after that's done, you will see that the project has executed and it works like a charm. But if you are experiencing any trouble executing the project, then don't worry about it. I'll be leaving another link down in the description below that talks about how to set the right configuration in PyCharm. The very final thing that I want to mention is that once we clone the project, the navigation menu at the very top actually changed very slightly. The change is very subtle, so you might not have noticed it before. You can see now that at the very top in the navigation menu, it now says git instead of vcs as it did before. So if you want to clone another project, then you can click on git instead of vcs as we did earlier, and you can click on clone, and you'll have the same window pop up asking for the URL of the directory that you want to clone. But if you want to get rid of this git icon and want to get back to the original navigation, you can click on file, settings, and then within version control, you can go to the directory mappings, and then under VCS, you can click on none, and then on apply, and you'll see the top navigation menu now has VCS instead of Git. All right, we're gonna leave it there for this video. If it helped, then make sure to leave a like on this video. It helps out the channel a lot, and we'll see each other in the next video.